You guys have to think I have a problem by now. <laughs> hey you guys, I just finished filming a bunch of videos and before that I was on a flight back from St. Louis to Columbus where I saw that I was tagged in the, I want to say it right, the questions no one asks tag. I was tagged by Marianne over at Shopping Crafty. I love her channel and she's another like actress youtuber so she and i have a lot of things in common she lives in california i live in columbus she lives in this city i live in this state anyway she lives in california i live in ohio but either way she tagged me and i'm totally just filming this at my desk i was making food drinking coffee and then after i film i get some water but i figured since i have a few minutes because my camera's charging and stuff is uploading i will definitely do the questions no one asks tag because she tagged me in it. I'm also not going to edit this once the questions start. We're just going to roll with it. So if I say something, it's going to happen. Question one, when driving, do you listen to CDs, tapes, the radio or nothing? I still have CDs in my car. I drive a Jeep Liberty. I still have CDs. And then I also have an aux cable so I can listen to stuff on my cell phone. I do a lot of uh, podcasts, sometimes some TED talks, just really anything. I know I said I wasn't going to edit, but I definitely just picked food out of my teeth and I didn't want y'all to see that. Question two. Are you a window person or an aisle person? I prefer the window, and I just told you I got back from the airport. Um, I got the window seat on my flight to St. Louis, but I gave my boyfriend the window seat today because I'm so nice. Number three. How do you relieve stress? I like to like go running. Sometimes I'll just turn myself onto airplane mode and I'll put something on my TV and like paint my nails. Sometimes I'll just go for a walk and be away from electronics. There's just a various different ways. Um, right now I like to like light candles, drink tea, or even just like write out my goals. Cause typically if I'm stressed out, it's something like a project or something going on in life. And if I just write about it and see it on paper, it's a lot easier. Four, what's your favorite childhood TV show? I was totally a Nickelodeon kid. So I liked Doug, The Rugrats, Hey Arnold. Fun fact, I just finished doing the opera Carmen and all throughout every scene of Carmen, um, I had the episode of Hey Arnold's Carmen in my head because they did a whole parody with all the songs and I thought it was hilarious. So as she's dying in the real stage version of Carmen, I in my brain am thinking of Hey Arnold because I'm still 12. Number five, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I used to want to be the voices of characters in Disney and Pixar movies. That's what I wanted to do. I thought it would be so cool. I used to watch behind the scenes, like how they made videos. I just wanted to be that person that wore the headphones and read the script, which I actually do sometimes. I do voiceover work every once in a while, usually for small businesses that want either like a greeting on their phone or on an informational video or my most recent I did like... Uh, I won't say the company, but I did like a health, not a health, I did a, um, a new hire HR video where you just had the script, they put a little uh, microphone, a camera, and I just read what they had. So wanted to be Disney Pixar, ended up doing informational voiceovers for small businesses. Same thing, right? Okay, number six, what was the best prank you ever pulled off? I have never conducted pranks before, and I wouldn't say like I pulled it off, but I'm pretty sure like in high school we would like TP kids houses or one time one of my friends drove her car through the front yard of another girl's house. I don't know why that happened. Her parents were just really pissed off that they had these awful tire tracks, but I can't think of a time that I pulled off a prank. Um, I don't know. There was one time where I convinced my younger sister when we were kids that the tooth fairy was loaded and when you lost your tooth she'd bring you like a car an rv and when she lost her tooth i hid a car key under her pillow and so for the next week she waited at the window for a rv to show up but that is that a prank that's a prank it counts i don't know seven if you could have dinner with three people whom would you choose 
I would choose any three people? Oh man, that's a good question. I would choose Mozart, but have an English translator. I would choose Anne Frank, because I remember in elementary school, just being mesmerized by a girl who had so much, you know, sadness around her and everything was falling apart and it was horrible, yet she was still able to write like optimistic things. I would love to hear from her and Michelle Obama. We probably should have separate dinner dates for those three. That'd be a little awkward. Okay. If you could get back any article of clothing you once wore, what would it be? Um, any article of clothing I once wore. I did rent a beautiful dress from Rent the, one, rent the Runway, excuse me, at an event I had to speak at, and I obviously had to return the dress, but it was beautiful. It was just a thousand dollars, so I rented it. Okay, um... Number nine, if you could hire any actor to portray in a movie, who would you choose? Honestly, I would choose the girl that did Girl Boss because I thought she did a phenomenal job and I'm nothing like Sophia in Girl Boss, which PS, love that show, shameless plug, check it out, Netflix, check it out. Um, but she, I don't know her actual name, I'll have to look it up, but the girl who played Sophia in Girl Boss, she was so, I loved her performance. I would hire her. Zoe Deschanel is a close second because she's like super awkward and I'm super awkward. Okay, if you could play an instrument, which would you play? I actually do play. I play the piano. I played for about 15 years. I teach piano lessons. But another instrument I would love to just be good at, not just decent, would be guitar. I've never actually had a guitar lesson, but when you play the piano, you kind of understand the theory, and I know kind of some of the hand positions and why chords are made by certain hands positions. But I would like to be better at that. This is going really well. Glad I didn't read these beforehand because it's making it super awkward. Eleven, if you could hear anyone in history give a speech, whom would you hear? I would hear, does it have to be like a pre-existing speech? Because I would have loved to her hear, I would have loved to heard, I would love to have heard like Martin Luther King's speech. It just, just says give a speech. I would have loved to hear like Rosa Parks give a speech. I would have loved to hear that. That would have been great. Let's see here. If you could live in one city for the rest of your life, where would you live? If it had to be one city for the rest of my life, Charleston, South Carolina, because it's beautiful. It's got everything you need there. I'm very happy living in the city of Columbus, Ohio, because I like the like energy a city gives, but Charleston was beautiful. I lived there for six months on the Carnival of Fantasy. And if I don't have it already out, I will have a Life on a Cruise Ship video where I talk about how I was a singer for several ships through Carnival Cruise Lines. If it's out when this video goes out, I'll link it above. All right, this is super long. We gotta hurry this up. Um, let's see here. If you could make any fictional character come to life, who would it be? Definitely Harry Potter. And he had to bring the magic, duh. Um, it, when you were a kid, what did you dress up as for Halloween? I did everything from Disney princesses, I'm pretty sure I was Belle for like three Halloweens because I was obsessed with her. Like she's she's on what actors call like the bucket list or a dream role. She's on every actress's dream role. I also was the Pink Power Ranger. I would go from like Disney princess to Pink Power Ranger to like, um, what's it called? The guy that comes to get you when you die. He has a hood on. Oh my gosh, what's his name? I gotta look him up. Guy that comes to get you when you... I didn't even finish, but it's a Grim Reaper. I didn't even finish, I figured it out. Google, there to help the basic white girl. Okay. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? I have never not slept because they've been open or closed. It doesn't really matter to me. I used to babysit kids and they wouldn't sleep unless it was closed because they thought something was coming out of there. I have no preference. Um, if you could be any cartoon character, who would you be? Um, I don't watch many cartoons anymore, but I could be any cartoon character. I used to be obsessed with, as a teenager, I was obsessed with Daria. If you know who Daria is, leave me a comment. She was just this chill, like, pre-millennial millennial in the 90s. I would be her. Just because I can't, I can't think of anyone else. 
Do you take the shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Uh, yeah, actress, always take them out of hotels. I used to be an extreme couponer. I used to have a closet that looked like a CVS. Um, let's see here, 18. Have you stolen a street sign? I have never stolen a street sign. There was this obnoxious sign in my neighborhood in high school and it said free pony rides for parties and I hated driving by it. I thought it was so stupid. So what do I do when I hate seeing something on the road? I steal it and put it in my bedroom. That makes sense. I was a really dumb teenager, like really dumb teenager. Okay, do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Always out because my legs and feet will get warm in my sleep and I have to push them out under the sheets. 20, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I would take the bear because I feel like if I could just get to shelter, it's just guarding myself from one huge animal and not hundreds of tiny flying bees. Do you always smile for pictures? I would say 90% of them, if I'm working with somebody like for a photo shoot or portfolio and they ask me not to smile, I clearly won't, but most of the time I will. Have you peed in the woods? Uh, I have totally peed in the woods. Again, not a smart high schooler. What size is your bed? My bed is a queen size. Queen. What was the best concert you ever attended? The best concert was the most recent. I went and saw Beyonce in St. Louis last September, and it was unbelievable. The things that they did, the lights, the pyrotechnics, they even had a, a number where they came out and they danced on water. It was awesome. And she had just had a baby. Okay, what is your song of the week? Song of the week would really just be like any recent Bruno Mars song. Song of my life. I always forget what the song is called and then every time I hear it, I look it up, listen to it for a week and then forget about it for another three years. But I love this song and I have no idea why. Dreams by the band The Cranberries. Never know anything else about this band. I know nothing about them, but when this song comes on, Changing Makes no sense. Love that song. I'll probably forget about it. This video will probably remind me. Moving on. That wasn't even a question. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? I wrote a letter to a YouTube subscriber. Her name was Annie, and she had won a Starbucks gift card giveaway I did. I wrote her a letter because I thought it would be nice because you guys give your time to watch my content. I can give five minutes to write you guys a letter. How many languages can you speak? I attempt English on a daily basis. I studied a lot of Spanish, and as I worked on cruise ships, the majority of them went to Mexico, so decent in Spanish, and I used to study opera, so I can understand traces of Italian, French, and German. I'm also of Greek descent. I like how I do this, because this is Greek descent. I do not speak Greek, but I'm used to hearing it, but I can't, I couldn't have a conversation. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, I don't really think of this constantly. Like, it's not a consistent thought in my mind. Are they real or not? Uh, not really, but I don't really think that much about it. Take me to a haunted place so you can change my mind. Cheetos or Fritos? Cheetos, every day. Can you curl your tongue? Like that. Uh, ever won a spelling bee? Girl, every time I spell a status right, I want a spelling bee. No, I've never actually entered a spelling bee. Do you own a record player? I do not own a record player. Sadly, I own records. It was a goal when I was a music teacher to put a record player in my room to like teach the kids about other ways we used to listen to music before iTunes. And I never actually got around to buying the player. I still think I have the records somewhere in this house. They may have gotten lost in my move or I gave them away, but I had records, but no player. It makes sense. Um, can, da, 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 da. who would you like to see in concert? Definitely Bruno Mars. That might actually be happening in the future, but don't tell anyone. Can you swim well? Yes, I used to swim in high school. Like I'm not a speed swimmer, like you wouldn't put me on your swim team, but I can swim. Are you patient? I like to think I am decently patient. I am sure, as I'm messing up this hair, I'm obviously impatient with hair. 
I'm sure there are things in life I need to improve my patience on, but in general, yes, I like to think that I am a decently patient person. Um, this is long. Uh, DJ or band at a wedding? I have this controversy all the time, ironically, because I'm musicians, so you think, oh, she's gonna have a band. But I'm actually going to have a DJ, and this is why. I like several different kinds of music, and no band can cover Michael Buble to like the top 40 hits and then be able to play Greek music because obviously Greek family they're probably gonna dance around and throw plates and money and people in the air so I probably would be better off with a DJ. Ever won a contest? Um I did actually! I won a crew bingo raffle contest which won me this camera I've won just a couple really raffles, never a big contest so that I would remember. Do you want kids? At this point in my life, I can say I do not want kids. I'm not, I'm not opposed to them. I don't like morbidly hate them. Uh, do you have kids? I do not. I have a kitten and she's enough. Whew, that's a lot of questions. I thought this would be like a five minute video. But Marianne, those are the 40 questions that no one asks. I'm gonna go big or go home. I'm gonna tag Budget Girl in this video because she just moved and I know she's clearly not busy with a new job and a home. I'm joking, I know you're busy. But uh, if you wanna join in on the 40 questions no one asks tag, uh, Budget Girl, I tag you. But if anybody else wants to make it, leave me the link down below and I'll check it out. I'll also link Marianne's channel to the end screen of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching the most random video of all time and I will catch you in the next one.